Hello everyone and happy 2021. So many of you are probably thinking, thank God 2020 is over with already and I'm there with you. So I'm Dori Suka, founder of Inspiration Management. And I'm here to wish you a very, very happy, prosperous and a very healthy new year. Welcome to Dory Talks. Let me get serious here. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone. We are talking today about how to develop super successful habits leading to 10xing your med spa or spa business this year in 2021. Yes, the theme for the year, for this new year, is to 10x your success. Are you ready for this? I hope you are because we are ready to teach it. This is what we are going to focus on this year with all the mastermind members that we have and the overall inspiration management community. I know you're probably thinking, Dory, 10x? 10x is a huge goal, but I have the confidence that we can do it. How, you ask? By applying effective and results-driven strategies. Yes, that's what we need to implement. So I want to share with you a couple of important announcements before I actually discuss today's Dory Talks. I have exciting news. I want you to register to win for one ticket of the Millionaire Circle Seminar. Yes, this seminar is amazing. In it, I share with you the TMSP system, how to target, how to market, how to sell, and how to profit from your consumers, the affluent consumers. So normally this seminar used to be in person, of course, but like everything else, we're taking it virtually. So you'll be able to attend. I have two invitations for you, actually. One is to go ahead and register to win one complimentary ticket. And then the other one is I'm inviting you to attend a preview of what the event is all about. So if you look below, you'll be able to see the dates of when we're actually going virtual with the Millionaire Circle. One other thing I want to announce to you and invite you to do that is the newest Meet the Experts episode. I hosted one with Stephen Handysides, and during that event, we discussed how to host unique and profitable virtual events. It is amazing. Stephen is the founder of vunite.com. It's actually v-unite.com, and you'll be able to watch the event that we did together on Meet the Experts. So make sure you check that out. And don't forget about the recipes for success. This is designed for your team. It's team training. It's totally on demand to help you turn a regular team into a high performing team. So I want that for you. We've already done 20 modules of the recipes for success. And this coming year, we will continue with 10 more modules so your team will be armed with some great things that they can do to help you 10x your business in 2021. So those are my special announcements. So I want you to stay tuned. If this is your first time with us, we are a business firm designed to help you elevate your success. We publish all sorts of videos on a regular basis. So I wanna invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And while you're there, make sure you ring the notification bell so you can be informed anytime we publish an actual video. So stay tuned and we're going to go ahead and get started with the Dory Talks. Hello and welcome back to Dory Talks. In this episode, we're going to be discussing 10 successful entrepreneurs habits for 2021. You see, some med spas and spas had a difficult year, but I also know some who maintained and even experienced growth. Why is that? Why do some fail and some succeed? Well, it's actually simple. 
It has to do with you. It has to do with the leader, the entrepreneur. It has to do with your habits. In this episode, we're going to explore how to develop successful habits so you can 10x your business and ensure success in 2021. You see, habits are acquired behaviors or thought patterns that are repeated so many times that they become almost unconscious and automatic habits. As you know, we all have either good habits or bad habits. I would like to think I don't have that many bad habits, but you know, we all do. Some are helpful and some are harmful. So studies have indicated that 90% of normal behavior is based on habits. We are creatures of habits. We are very, very predictable human being. As a matter of fact, there's been many books published and studies exactly on how habits actually form. As a matter of fact, some of my favorite books, uh, one of them is The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. It's a great book if you have not read it. It's definitely a must read. Then another great book that I really love is and that practice all the time is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by the late Stephen Covey. I was so sad the day I heard he passed away. And then, of course, you have the 20 strategies. This is my small book that kind of goes over an overview of the leap ahead. You know, we're always promoting the How to Make Millions book, but this one is just as good. So if you don't have a copy of it, you really, you really should. So what we want to do is make sure that you develop super successful businesses. And to develop super successful businesses, you really need to apply successful habits into your life and into your schedule. So here I'm going to be sharing with you 10 successful habits that entrepreneurs must have in order to be able to 10x their business. Now, this is what we just did with the Inspiration Management Group, the Mastermind Group. We just had our two-day Mastermind event. We had some folks come live and some actually joined us virtually, but we went over the recipe on how to 10x your business in 2021. And I have to tell you this quote that I actually um, have here for you. It says, never reduce your target. Instead, increase actions. And that goes hand in hand with habits, by the way. So when you increase your actions, uh, when you actually start writing everything down and setting up these huge goals for yourself, then you are giving yourself an opportunity to succeed. And this is really what I want you to think about while we're talking about uh, these successful habits is how you can develop habits that actually allow you or give you the guideline to 10x your business in 2021. Now, if you're not a member, you can always go to inspirationmanagement.com and check out the Flying High membership that we have so I can help guide you in 2021 to actually 10x your business. So we're super excited about that. Let's go ahead and go over the 10 successful habits that entrepreneurs must have in order to succeed or even 10x your business. So number one, plan tomorrow today. This one is probably one of my favorites because when you're planning your success, you're going to be for sure more successful. So keep a running list of the things that you need to do, whether they are uh, to-do lists, whether they're project lists, whether they're strategic planning uh, tips and uh, things that you need to do. What I like to do is keep a notebook handy for just planning your daily success. And then once you plan your daily success the day before, then you go into your calendar and start blocking time so you can be super productive instead of just being busy. This will help you be super, super productive 
instead of just busy so you can be accomplishing all the things that you really need to accomplish and that are more meaningful to help you get closer to success. Number two, make time to train the team. This is probably one of the biggest missing habit from most businesses when we first start working with them. They don't have a schedule for the team to actually focus on uh, weekly meetings or bi-weekly training meetings, not just bitching sessions. We're talking about educational meetings here. It's very important. That way you can develop your team skills. You've got to train them and train them on technical, on clinical, on business, on protocol. All these training sessions will pay off hugely and they are very crucial to your success. So instead of just having an average team, then you can have a high performing team. So the more you train your team on the guest experience, on revenue generation, asking for referrals, or any other things like gaining testimonials or all the other things that we teach in the recipes for success program. So make sure you take the time to teach the team and train them so they can do right by you, by your guest, by the business, for themselves, so everyone wins. All right, moving on to number three, implement the daily success planning meeting. The daily success planning meeting is something that we teach during the Leap Ahead seminar. And the whole purpose of the daily success planning meeting, or we call it DSP for short, is to help you plan your opportunities for the day. You need to look at each one of your guests or patients or clients, whatever you call them, when they are coming to you, they're visiting you in your medical spa or spa, you have to see what else they can experience with you. What other treatments can they have so you can help them look better, feel better, be healthier, whatever it is that you have on your menu. When you do that, when you practice cross-marketing into different departments, this habit will create an increase in revenue and in guest satisfaction. So everyone on the team actually wins. And of course, the most important person that's going to win is your guest, so they can keep coming back over and over and over. So I want to encourage you to implement that. As a matter of fact, we just had this huge conversation about it during our mastermind meeting, how important it is to have the daily success planning meeting every single shift. That sometimes people tell me, yes, Dory, but I have people who come in at this hour and then I have people coming in at that hour. I don't like that type of business. You, you don't have unity. You should have two shifts and the one shift when they come in the morning, they come in and they actually just do the daily success planning meeting. And if you have an afternoon shift, then you do the same thing for the afternoon group. There is no reason why we cannot have the meeting of the minds and implement that habit. I'm telling you, just this one habit will make such a difference in your business. You will totally transform it because you are so aware of what you're trying to accomplish. So do it, implement it. You'll see a big, big difference. All right, moving on to number four. Number four is monthly meetings to share your monthly goals and targets. It's amazing to me how many times I go into a medi spa or a spa and uh, leaders are not sharing these goals with the team. Well, if you don't share your vision and your goals with the team, then each person is going to end up doing their own thing. You need to have goals and you need to have reward programs for the people that achieve them so you can recognize them and make them feel great about their accomplishments. When you do that, when you set goals and targets and you make this a habit every single month, you need to take time to have your monthly meetings where you can pass out the goals and then at the end of the meeting for the following month, you're going to announce all the winners, the people that actually received the awards, hit their targets, did such a great job for you. You need to recognize them. And that should be all part of your compensation model. 
So if you don't set goals, you're not doing yourself any favors at all. So I want to encourage you to make that a habit on a monthly basis, set them, and then recognize. Sounds good? Yes. All right, let's move on to number five. Number five is visualizing your success. You've got to visualize on how to become successful entrepreneurs. You need to envision it. You need to feel it. You need to consider these type of people or examples that are around us from people that are super, super successful, whether it's from the past, the present, or people that are just on the cutting edge of being superstars, whether it's in sports, whether it's in business, entrepreneurs, no matter what it is. I mean, one of my favorite people is Michael Jordan and how important what he what he did and his passion into visualization and actually the structure that he used he always felt that he visualized the last shot in his mind before he ever took one in actually real life that's the power of visualization another example with a strong visualization is muhammad ali he would constantly stress the importance of seeing himself win the fight long before he actually took the first step into the fighting ring. So those are things that people have accomplished because of visualization. And when you take the time to truly visualize your success, and you actually script it out. We did this during the book gathering, by the way, the Think and Grow Rich book gathering we did. If you have not watched it, it's the book by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. You can go on YouTube, or if you're already on YouTube, you can look up the book gathering, Think and Grow Rich on the Inspiration Management channel, and you'll be able to go over with us the 13 principles as we dissected that actual program and one of the things and one of the principles is burning desire and visualization and one of the things that napoleon hill talks about is the importance of visualization and then writing a desire statement down so once you envision what you want your business to look like and then you write it down and then you repeat it to yourself morning and night and you write it down again and the more focused you are on that then you more likely you are and of course you have to apply the action <laughs> that goes with it but yes then you can achieve or make that vision a reality because here's the fact you guys there's really no magic wand in anything that we do uh, we may like to think that but we've got to do the work so action is important to actually make your vision a reality all right let's move on to number six number six is sharpening the saw it's actually one of the habits in the highly seven habits of highly effective people with stephen covey sharpening the saw is key and that's something that i live every single day of my life i am always learning like in my car my car is a university. I'm always listening to books on tape. And I don't mean Danielle Steele's latest novel. I'm talking about business books, my mentors, successful people, entrepreneurs. I'm always feeding my time, my mind with all the things to actually become better at what we do. So sharpening the saw means taking time in your schedule to learn. You have to have personal development time every single day. You need to attend, and, and we have so many tools for you. You can attend like the Leap Ahead seminar. You can attend the Millionaire Circle. By the way, we're doing a register to win for that, so you can get a complimentary uh, uh, entry. So maybe you can win. It's a value of $3,900. So definitely take advantage of that. You can come to the book writing seminar so you can become published and improve your positioning. Those are all things that you can do, you guys, on demand. You can just be getting ready in the morning. And that's what I was sharing. I'm going to give you a little insider tip here into our mastermind members. 
what we did uh, for the mastermind members is I told them my habits. So every morning when I'm getting ready, after I take a shower, get out, I'm putting my makeup on, getting dressed, I have about 40 to 45 minutes of time. Instead of watching the negative news, instead of um, whatever, listening to radio, uh, then you, you, you're not gaining anything from that, right? I would rather set my mind on straight in the morning so I can benefit everybody else even that much more. So if you develop that habit of actually implementing into your daily schedule a person, personal development time slot, I'll guarantee you, you'll be able to 10x your business next year when you take that knowledge and then apply it into action. We've already given you the whole blueprint, you guys. All you have to do is apply it. <laughs> it's all right there for you. Again, it's all about habits, right? <laughs> yes. All right, let's go to number seven. Number seven is to network and build business to business relations. Business to business relations are a great way to build your business and your database. Let's face it, your database is the most important thing. When you want to build it super fast, because we have a lot of people in our community that are just starting out and that's like their biggest challenge. So how do I get out there? How do people find out about me without having to spend an arm and a leg in marketing and advertising? So the easiest way to do that is to partner up with business to business people. You can host events together. They could even be virtual events right now if it's not in-person events. You can prospect with them. Uh, you can generate leads through their database by inviting them to come and experience your place or giving them gift cards or we have tons of strategies to help you build business to business relations and make it worthy of your time where you can monetize it and generate leads at the same time. I love business to business relations. It's something that we practice. As a matter of fact, we just started a whole new show because of that. I'm doing meet the experts two ways. I'm doing it one way with business to business who are in the industry, who are selling to med spa business industry. And then we're doing meet the experts for business to consumer, where I'm actually interviewing our clients and members in our community as the experts that they are. And then they're speaking to their consumers and helping them. So I have to tell you, business to business relations is a win-win all the way. When you master that, you are golden. So get busy and start building those great relationships. Number eight. Number eight is about you. It's about working out and eating healthy, being healthy. We are in the beauty and wellness industry. You need to walk the walk and talk the talk. We have to practice what we preach, right? We have to look good. We have to have a good image. So you need to make time in your schedule. Again, this is a habit, you guys. We're talking about 10 habits that successful entrepreneurs have. You cannot be a successful entrepreneur if you don't feel good or if you're overweight and you're concerned about diabetes and all these other illnesses. You gotta be in shape. You gotta be great. You know, this reminds me of Dr. Lonnie Green. He was here uh, with us actually for the book writing seminar last month. And he, this man is so fit and so into health, wellness, beauty. It's incredible. I actually did meet the expert interview with him. You might wanna go check it out and see the mindset of what entrepreneurs really do. He is super successful. They, are, they have a waiting list for people to actually uh, come into their business. And why? Because he walks the walk and talks the talk. And that's what I want for you. So make sure you create that healthy habit in your schedule to take great care of yourself. And that way you can take care of the people that you love. Isn't that a great habit? It is. It's a very good habit. Okay, habit number nine. 
is you being everywhere. You have to write, you have to speak, you have to shoot videos, you have to improve your positioning, you guys. People have got to notice who you are. And when people notice who you are, they're going to be drawn to you. And the only way you're going to improve your positioning and become an influencer is if you speak, if you write, if you do videos. When you do all these things, you're going to be better off for you, for your team, for your business, for your clients, and everyone is going to know who you are. And when you do that, high paying clients are going to be drawn to you and your business. It's really not rocket science, you guys. You can do this. It's just a matter of developing these habits and making them great for you and your business so you can be the best entrepreneur that you can really be. All right, so let's wrap it up with number 10. Number 10 is probably one of the most important things you can do for your business. And it's something that I have done every year for the last 20 years. And that is to have a mentor and to be part of a mastermind group. When you are part of a mastermind group, then you have the ability to be around like-minded people. You can bounce ideas and brainstorm together. You can share successes. I have to tell you, my business will not be where it is today if I did not have this habit in my life. It's probably one of the most important habits. I cannot live without it. So no matter how smart you think you are, uh, how, it, how um, you, successful you even are, there has to be a way, there should be always someone in your life that can help you become even better. So I want to give you this advice to make that again a habit in your life, to be part of a mastermind group and make that a habit. We have, as a matter of fact, a great mastermind group. They are so talented and so successful. It's funny, we were talking the other day about, again, you know, the 10Xing your business. And these guys are already all super successful. They live in beautiful houses. They drive fancy cars. You know, they have great businesses. So where can we go from there? Well, that's why the 10X theme for this year is so important to me because we have so many successful people around us, including yours truly. But the thing is, we can all step it up. We can all go beyond where we are right now by stretching our goals and by truly being part of a group that's going to get you motivated, that's going to excite you and push you to do the great things that we know uh, you can do. As a matter of fact, um, after our mastermind meeting the other day, I received uh, so many different texts from so many people. And one in particular, Brianna from Estic, Brianna Kane from Estic in Pittsburgh, she texted me and said, Dory, thank you again for such a great meeting. I am so inspired. I'm so motivated. I'm ready to go ahead and 10X right now. So those are the things that make me feel make me feel like I'm doing something worthwhile, right? In helping you be the best that you can be. So I just shared 10 entrepreneurial habits that you must have if you're serious about your success in 2021. I want you to make these habits part of your life so you can watch your business 10x and grow exponentially. You deserve it. You work so hard. So why not just dream the unimaginable? Wonder, take advantage of all these infinite possibilities that you have right there at your fingertips. Don't let negativity get into your life and your heart. There are so many negative people around right now. You cannot afford to have negative thoughts. That's not something that you should be focused on at all. What you should be focused on instead is developing those 10 habits that I just went through. Apply them into your daily lives. Make sure that you, they form as a habit and that way you're all set. All you have to do once you have these habits and they're backed by action, 
or as I like to say, massive action. When you have that, then you are going to absolutely soar and make 10 xing right there within your reach. So I'm super excited for you. Thank you so much for being here with us. If you want to be a, a person on Meet the Experts and get you interviewed, make sure you go to meettheexperts.com so we can schedule time. You can actually apply to be an expert and you can be featured on the show. Uh, at some point in the future. So make sure you do that. And then you like this episode of Dory Talks, gives us a thumbs up, leave some comments below. I'm going to go ahead and leave some links below for all the things that we actually talked about so you can have easy access to all this great information. And please like this, share it with other people what we teach our business principles that can apply almost to any business like these habits will be applicable to any business so share the knowledge share the wisdom that we're sharing sharing that and the insight and let us help you make 2021 the best year yet thank you so much for joining us and until next time stay inspired Mm -hmm.